Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your OneNote keeps crashing in your Windows 11 whenever you're trying to open OneNote or you type anything in your OneNote document. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could uh, try to fix the problem. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to open OneNote in application safe mode. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type OneNote space forward slash safe and then click on OK. Now with this, your OneNote application should start in application safe mode. So basically this will disable all the third party add-ons which are associated with your OneNote. So in case if you are able to open OneNote in safe mode, it's a, it is an indication that some of the third party applications are causing the problem. So there are a couple of steps which you could try here. The first thing is uh, once you have the OneNote in safe mode, you can try to disable some of the add-ins here. So you can click on file at the top left corner of your OneNote page and then click on options. Once you have the options page, go to add-ins and check if there are any add-ins associated with OneNote. So you can click on com add-ins and then click on go and check if there are any add-ins. In my case, there are no add-ins associated with my OneNote. In your case, you might have one. So in case if there are, you may go ahead and select it and then click on remove and then click on OK. Close OneNote and see if it works. In case if it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the another step, what you could also try if your OneNote is opening in application safe mode is you can go to file at the top left corner and then click on options. Under options, you will have to go and click on advanced. Under advanced, on the right hand side, go to the pen option and make sure you have enable automatic handwriting recognition is being unchecked and then click on OK. Click on OK. Close OneNote and then try to open OneNote and check if you're able to open OneNote without any issues. In case if you are able to open OneNote without any issues, um, which means that your handwriting recognition was causing a problem. So this should fix a problem. So in spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, the next method is to go ahead and clear the print queue on your computer. To do this, you will have to close OneNote and then open services window. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. Once you have the services window, you will have to go and locate for print spooler. So you can do a right click and then click on stop print spooler. Once this is done, you will have to go ahead and clear the print spooler files, which is located in C drive windows system 32 and pool. I will also mention this location in the video description. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run and in the run window window, you may go ahead and type this location or you can paste, copy and paste the location from the video description and then click on OK. Once it takes you to this file, click on printers and delete all the files which are residing under the printers folder. You can press Ctrl A and do a delete. Once those files are deleted, you may close this window. Go back to your print spooler, do a right click and then click on start. Close this window and then try to open OneNote and check if you are able to open OneNote and work on OneNote. Check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, you don't have to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and check for the updates and clear the OneNote cache on your computer. So to do this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to open my computer. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on file explorer or you can press windows key and the letter E on your computer, which should open the file explorer on your computer. Once you're on the file explorer, go to C drive and enable hidden files and folders. In my case, I have enabled hidden files and folders in case if you haven't, you you can click on the three dotted lines or the see more option then click on options under options click on view tab and check the box which says show hidden files and folders and drives make sure it is checked click on apply and then click on ok once this is done you will have to go ahead and locate for your click on the users. Once you're on the users, locate for your username. In my case, I have logged in as Ray T U. This is my username, the current username. Double click on it. And once you're on this, click on 
app data under app data you can also click on local under local locate microsoft double click on microsoft under microsoft you will have to go and locate for OneNote. it would be in alphabetical order double click on one note and then choose the folder which says 16.0 or 15.0 so in case if you have the latest version you would see it as a 16.0 or maybe it could be a 17.0 depending on the versions which has been currently installed on the computer so double click on it and under each folder with the number you will have to go ahead and click on cache do a right click you can double click on cache and delete all the files which are listed under cache so basically what you're doing is you're going ahead and clearing the cache for one note once this is done you may close this folder and then restart your computer and check if you are able to open one note so this should definitely fix the problem so in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next method is to go ahead and repair your one note on your computer to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type appis.cpl and then click on ok once you have the programs and features op window open you would see all the programs which are currently installed on the computer so in this list you will have to locate for office so in my case i have have office 365 it could be different in your computer it, there is, it is possible that you might have one note as a standalone product in case if you're using one note as a standalone product you can do a right click and then click on change in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen and then choose the option which says online repair and then click on repair wait for the office to repair restart your computer and then you can try to open one note and you should be able to uh, open one note and work on your one note application so all this step should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day